Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T580 laptop for use in 2023 and onward. Going over the hardware specs, we have a Intel Core i5-8350U CPU, 4 cores and 8 threads, which supports Intel UHD Graphics 620, a 15.6 Full HD 1920x1080 display panel, and right now I have 16GB of Samsung DDR4 2400MHz RAM. And for storage, I have a 240 gigabyte Patriot P210 NVMe solid state drive. And the touchpad is fairly intuitive. It's a Mylar Surface multi-touch touchpad and with three buttons on top, which is quite nice if you want to use the red touch point. It provides easy access for right click, left click, and middle scroll button. The keyboard is your typical style of this generation of ThinkPad with a two-tier backlit system. Inclusion of a numpad, which is something I really like, and everything you can expect from a modern laptop. There's also a fingerprint sensor to the right of the touchpad. On the right I.O. we have a microphone and headphone input, 4-in-1 SD card reader, USB 3.1, USB 3.1 always on, HDMI port, RJ45 Ethernet port, and the version of the Kensington lock. On the left I.O. we have a USB Type-C charging port that also doubles as a USB-C which also doubles as a regular USB Type-C port. And we have an additional USB Type-C Gen 2 Thunderbolt 3 with the function of power delivery and display port. That grill is for air exhaust from the CPU fan. And right here is the smart card reader port if that is an option on your particular model. The case material is the typical ThinkPad quality of glass fiber reinforced polymer and polyphenylene sulfide, the bottom being fully glass fiber reinforced polymer. Still just have your standard 720p webcam. And we have stereo speakers featuring Dolby Audio Premium that are not too bad. Of course, you can always connect nicer headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look inside the T580 to show you how you can perform upgrades and service. Before doing so, it helps to do this procedure so we can power on the laptop and start hitting enter to until we get to this screen and we can press F1 to enter BIOS. And now you wanna navigate over to config, down to power, and down to disable built-in battery. And we wanna collect, and we want to select yes. We can now flip over the laptop and we can remove the external battery. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, we can remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws to remove the back panel. Now using something soft and plastic like a guitar pick, you can score along the palm rest in order to remove the back panel without scratching up the laptop case. All right, and here's the internal battery, which you can also remove if you want to do things like replace the touchpad or further remove the keyboard, but we're not gonna be doing that today. Over here, we have the two DIMM slots for RAM expansion, and currently we have 16 gigabytes of 2400 megahertz Samsung RAM installed. Over here, we have the hard drive caddy that currently has an NVMe solid state drive adapter. You can also get a 2.5 inch drive adapter, which will house a 2.5 inch hard drive or 2.5 inch solid state drive. If you're wanting to do a dual boot, you can actually install a M.2 solid state drive like this right here into the WWAN port. And you can do things like dual boot Linux and Windows or set up some extra storage or use it as a cache to speed up the system. Over here, we have have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, the CMOS battery, and if you wanted to apply a new thermal paste to the CPU, it's as easy as removing these four screws and lifting up the heat pipe connected to the CPU fan. Note that it is connected to the motherboard right here, and it lifts out quite easily for service. I've already done this, so I don't really need to demonstrate it, but if you wanted to improve your thermals, that's how you do it. And over here, right beneath the battery access, is a SIM card slot in case that 
is something that you want to do. So that covers the basics for expansion and upgrades. I think we'll go ahead and put this back together and we'll get on to showing some gaming examples. So would I recommend the T580 laptop for use in 2023 and onward? Absolutely. So for example, I've been using this T480S with similar specs for over a year and it's worked very well. I don't really have to think about upgrading in the near future and the four core eight thread CPU performance is really all I need for office software like Office 365 um, emails watching uh, YouTube in 1080p, and even doing some light gaming. So as far as budget laptops in the used market goes, I would highly recommend the T580 or T480. And if you feel the same way, let me know in a comment below. If you feel like I missed anything, let me know that too, and we can discuss it there. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a great day.